All right, so this question came off my YouTube channel that's been asked me a question about um, this movement, okay, which you'll find in, you'll find it in Kaishi Brother from Kogu Kinani. Yep, where else will you find it? Tainida, Shotokan or Shotoryu, where else will you find it? There's another kata in that lineage that you'll find it. Tainyona. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. There's, there's lots of different things that you can do. I have a couple of favourites that we can use it for. Alright? George can Hey! So, the first one is this. Now this is the one I like to use for Ayanita in particular. And it comes, it, it, it's exactly how we do it in Kaishiwaza from Kurutunada. So, uh, it's a same side wrist wrap. So, now, again, why is he wrapped my wrist? Control, strength. Control, strength, pull, all up because I've made him grab my wrist. Okay, how do I do that? I'll grab a hold on, I'll grab his testicles and he grabs my wrist, right? And so now we're going to work from here. So, here's what I'm going to do. To break this off, okay, if I just break this off now, I've got the other hand to worry about. Okay, so what I've decided I want to do is I want to get to the outside when I break this off. So, I'm going to come up, bring the other hand up, and then break it here. I can even wedge it off the other hand. If I place these two boxes, see, this one in between, right, keep hold. All I'm going to do is wedge that off. It's very difficult for me to hold that. Or I could circle and pull it out. All I'm going to do from here is I'm simply going to chop or, or grab so I can either hit it so I can grab it and pull it and then from here I'm going to intercept this way. Okay? It's a base in which we need to either wedge or pull. Okay? Hands open, hands closed, doesn't make any difference. I want to re-engage. I can't just re-engage here, it's arms and waist. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trap it, now impact. Get the idea? One. Track, impact, simple as that. I need to impact down, and maybe even towards me a little bit, okay? If I go across like that, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just, it's not suiting the next thing that I want to do, okay? I want him to come towards me. One, you here. Now, I can enter straight there, okay? Now you can do the big formal like this if you wish, Okay, or you can do the way I prefer it, which is just here and here to like that. Okay, and so you get this one, two, three. So I would probably go open hand. I would be going here, dropping and, and hitting here, because I like to be able to grip. Yeah. But it could also be a Tetsui, it could be a... I mean, let's face it, the only difference between a Shutoki and a Tetsui is where the hands are. <coughs> it's the same technique. That's right. This and this are the same technique. Alright, the question was asked, in some versions, this goes up rather than down. Cool? I'll show you one I don't like first. And I'm here, and then I go pull. And you could maybe argue that this is there to defend that hook. So he goes one hook, and this is there in case he throws the other hook. But you saw what he was about to do, right? What was he about to do? He was about to do an uppercut. So if I'm like this, and I go one, boom, I'm going to pop that. I'm better off just leaving this checked here. I deal with that, or if he hooks, I deal with that. So I don't believe this is a good defense for that, for the two hooks. Okay? So, what could it be? The other thing it could be, let's say it is just this one, I go here to defend, and I can up and cut here. Yeah, it's okay. But again, one, I'm on the inside, and two, why up and cut? If I've got this hand here, why wouldn't I go here or chop like we do? In a lot of the I would be using an uppercut in this position like, to go under the arm. All right. Now, then if I wanted to do my tetsui, I'd be going arm drag and then in here. Okay. So if you wanted to stylize that instead of coming down to come up, that's how I'd be doing it. I'd do the same. Start. Go here. Go, so now, instead of pulling this down to enter, I leave it there and I enter underneath. Okay? Then I do an arm drag, and then I go back to the inside. What do we do next? I go, boom, like that. I face it that way, right? So I get confused by the directions with cut that right now, I threw you off the application. So, again, keep grabbing the same side. I go up here, I'm going to wedge off that if I need to. I chop it here. <laughs> Let me show you what I would like to use that for. 
I go one, two, with the kick, and then I'm going here. So <coughs> I'm going to circle this up, I'm going to guillotine, and I'm going to step out and kick that leg out. I've got this part of the shuko, and I've got that part of the kick. Okay? But I'm not going to be doing this. That for me is the next thing. I'm going to be hooking this up and kicking that leg out, or maybe kicking the leg out and then hooking it up. It doesn't matter the order, right? So, yeah, break that, chop, enter. If you wish, kick that leg out, kill the team up. And there's your sequence. So that's one application that I like for that high rolling pen. The other, we, I use more for high end on that. Distracting from this in some way, from the grab. This grab is its primary focus. So it doesn't matter whether I, I move, right, I pull to try and get my balance, whether I'm kicking him, whether I'm screaming, whatever it is, you've got to get the focus off this hand grab. So once I've got that, I'm going to shoot one way or the other. As he tries to pull back, I'm going to shoot out. I'm going to lift this up, bringing it up eventually into this position here. Okay? So my arms are coming up from the elbows, not from the shoulders. You can't do this, you've got no chance. But from the elbows, I'm shooting up. Then I'm going to reach across, I'm going to grab, and then I'm going to grab, and go to here. Right. So, I just want to explain why I like this one behind Yonan and the other one behind Nidan. <coughs> it's because the way it flows into the next sequence. So, from here, right, I do my escape. I shoot out and I go for this. Alright? And you can either be doing this version, or you can be doing this version. One particular escape for this is to simply lift up and push your weight down. Now, he's lost that centre lock. So he pushes his weight down. I've now lost this lock. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go one, two, oh, three. Got it? Wrist weak. So, I've gone. Which is the next movement behind. Okay. Hawaii will get. Juju will get. So shoot out, come back up, I get here, I'm centre locking, he shoots his weight down. I change my grip. I go to here, this is my new working on torch. Okay. I go there, there's my cross. And I'm getting that wrist weave. 